talk to you about Empress Blog. It's a thing that I'm hoping will make customizing templates in static applications a little bit easier to kind of reason about and actually do. Um, my name is Chris Manson. I help organize DublinJS. I'm a developer at Simplabs, which is a Ember.js consultancy in Europe. Um, I'm a member of the Ember core learning team, and I am an owner of that little cutie called Rodney. Um, now, the story of static site generation at the moment in the JavaScript world is pretty much dominated by these two. Um, if, you've not, if you've been following anything about static generation, you've probably heard of Gatsby. Um, I think they've got quite a lot of VC funding, which is a bit weird because it's kind of an open source project with VC funding. Interesting. Um, Gatsby is written in uh, React, and then the bottom one, which is called ViewPress, is written in, uh, I can't remember, uh, oh, Vue, uh, yes. Um, so, being an Ember guy, I decided it would be time to try and build the Ember idea off the same sort of thing. So I have, I'm the inventor of Empress. Um, Empress is a little bit different than the Gatsby and the ViewPress way of doing things. Gatsby is very good at giving you tools that you kind of build your own site. Um, but what Empress is kind of uh, evolving to be is a series of products that are things in their own right. It's less about kind of you install Empress and then you're able to build a static site. You instead build one of these. Empress blog kind of does what it says in the tin. It's a blog system. GuideMaker is a documentation site that's currently being used for the Ember documentation. And Training Buddy was literally launched yesterday, which is kind of a sidecar app for doing like workshops and training and things like that. Um, so. What does this all mean? How do you get started with one of these things? A lot of these examples are going to go through the Empress blog idea, so you can start a blog if you wanted to. Um, in the GitHub for Empress blog on the readme, you'll see these two commands in the quick start. Now, as Ember developers, those two commands, which are up the top there, Ember new and Ember install, are very familiar to us. So Ember new is the thing that uh, bootstraps a new application for you. Um, just kind of sets up a few things and sets up your packages and your Git and all this sort of thing. But then you have Ember install, which is essentially installing a NPM package that it has a very specific structure. So it, ha it can do extra things. And we're going to see one of the things that it's able to do. It's able to make changes to some of the files in your application. So we're saying, yes, yes, please update my index.html. And then it's installing a bunch of extra things. So the point of this is that with those two commands, you're then able to run npm start, and you have a fully featured SEO uh, compatible uh, blog ready to go. And that's kind of live updating and nice JavaScript uh, static site generation. Um, the interesting thing about this is that that's actually two npm packages. So there's Empress blog, and then there's Empress blog Casper template. The, um, the idea of this is that actually it's splitting the idea of your blog into two pieces. The engine, the, the core part of it, the Empress blog does a lot of the heavy lifting. You write your posts in Markdown, it turns it into JSON, it makes an API for you, all this sort of stuff. And then all of your templates in CSS go into this other thing, the uh, Casper template. Um, and what that means is that actually, if you want to change the template of your blog, the only thing you need to do is npm uninstall the first one and replace it with the second one. So anybody who's ever kind of tried to install a theme on uh, WordPress or a Ghost or things like that and had to work with files and upload things and all that sort of stuff, you don't have to do that anymore. It's just an npm install, which we're all quite used to at this stage. Um, there's also another kind of benefit to this, which means that you can actually build a template really quite quickly and using modern tools. Um, you can see at that GitHub URL at the top, the um, uh, quick start guide is the, this stuff here at the bottom. Uh, it's literally just that first command. If you npm init Empress blog template and the name of your template, uh, in this case, it's kind of, I think it put an example in there as the name. You can then cd into that folder that it creates for you and run npm start, and it gives you kind of like a base template. 
Um, it's not a very good base template. It doesn't look very nice, but the point here is that it puts in all of the structure for you. It shows you each of the templates that you need to use, the Ember templates, and then it has a few CSS files with a big you know, to-do fill in your template here. Um, that's just what the, it looks like when you generate it. You can see it live if you want to go to that URL at the bottom. But what this gives you is that if you run npm start there, you can edit your template live locally uh, with example data that is set up for you. And then you can see it live auto-updating when you make a change to your template or your CSS. And when you're ready to actually make that ready, uh, available either publicly or to your particular um, blog, then you can publish it and uh, consume it, as I said earlier on. So if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, they can see it at uh, GitHub Empress, Empress Blog, or they can tweet at me at Relate. Thank you very much.